Hi you guys, I am ready to pour this morning. I found some paint at Target. You guys have probably seen it and I wanted to uh, try it with pouring. I had, um, did not realize how cool the new like craft section of Target was, but um, so I saw these and I'm like, hey, I want to try these. So I have some Target colors. I have these ones already mixed with uh, Floetrol and GAC 800 and some water, but I'm going to show you what I did. I was really surprised how uh, thick they are. The viscosity is super, it's almost like heavy body. So I have uh, Satin Jade. Um, that one's probably right there. I have a Deep Sea Satin. I have a bright teal satin. I guess they're all probably satin. <laughs> and then I have this uh, avocado, which looks like that. Not quite like guacamole, kind of like that cheap in the plastic guacamole that you get. Anyway, it's still avocado color, I'll give them that. And then I have this warm metal uh, metallic which I thought would be kind of a cool accent. And then I have, this is the titanium white from um, Hobby Lobby. And so I thought I would show you how it comes out of the package. The packaging is really cool, although I'm going to need like a little like baby spatula to get it all out. Or I guess I can rinse it down with water too. So... Um, kind of thicker paint. In fact, I had to like scoop it up with my fancy scooping stick to even get it into my cup. I could have tried pouring, but this seems like it'll be faster. So this color is leaf, kind of a bright green. It's hard to tell how well, come on hard to tell uh, how well those colors translate on the camera but looking at the camera it looks like it's pretty it's pretty bright almost yellow green there's my leaf color I'm gonna do like I did. I'm gonna mix it with flood because this is a little bit thicker. I'm gonna mix it. I almost mixed it at 50% at least. Uh, this is not very scientifically gauged. Probably 50% low tall. I did shake that up. Make sure you shake it. Even with that flow trawl, it's still pretty thick. The seam on these little plastic cups, if I stir counterclockwise, then it doesn't disrupt the seam. <laughs> I discovered early on. So here's my GAC 800 that reduces the crazing. These are the only... Uh, mediums I'm pouring in this time. I'm not going to use the PVA because it seems like even with the GAC um, 800 and the PVA I still have some crazing. So I'm just going to see what it's like with only Floetrol and these Target paints. So I'm trying to see what the handmade modern is the only. It's pretty much just what you find on, at Target. So, I don't know if they have it on Target online. I imagine they do, but I don't know. So that is still pretty thick, so I'm going to mix it with some water. I have a piece of MDF here that I've uh, gessoed and also sanded a little bit. So that is going to be, let's see if you can see, 
you can't see very well. Oh, well, it's still a little bit thick. So I'm going to add some more water. Oops. If I spread it all over. It's still hard to see because it's directly above, but pretty, pretty thin. All right, so I'm going to mix them in this cup. This is a nine ounce cup. This uh, MDF is eight by eight ish. So um, I'm gonna start with some. Oh, I need to do some silicone. I'm just gonna spray. Let's spray some in the cup just for kicks. Just about a couple drops in each of those. Give it a little stir. Give it a little stir. All right, so I'll put some white on there. I think I'll do a flip cup. I don't necessarily want a ton of white in this. I want more just accents of white. So I'll start with this darker blue. Sorry, deep C. And I'll do some green. I'm going to have to go have some guacamole later today. After that avocado name. Color is super bright, and so that will bring a lot of color to that. This metal, I wanted to kind of offset that those cool colors with that metallic. Maybe a little more white, just for kicks. Some more guacamole. And some more of this. So what I thought I would do too. So I think I will do a flip cup. That's about half a cup. Okay, I always am skimpy on my flip cups, and it doesn't really pay off in the end, so. I think I will kind of put some paint around the edges, though. Because I'm not going to have a whole lot left over. Oh, let me put my gloves on just for kicks. I'm going through this uh, blue period, blue green periods where a lot of my paintings are this color, so I have to branch out and try something new again. So there's that flip. I'm just going to add a little bit of guacamole green the edges, even though it'll pour off. Just to give that paint somewhere to go. It's way too bright to be guacamole. Oops. Maybe I'll just give some green too. Or no, sorry, jade. I feel like I should have put more silicone in there, but I guess we'll find out. We're starting to do stuff in the cup, so maybe it'll be fine. This is always an experiment. Oh, where am I at? Ten minutes? Okay. Ooh, a lot of paint. Awesome.
lot of paint. Oh, you can see the metallic coming out. That's cool. Smear some of that paint in on the edges. There. Do some tipping. Already have some cells pop up. I do love when that paint has somewhere to go. It makes me pretty happy. Cool. I like, this seems a little more uh, detailed down in that corner. Getting some paper towels. But this is a little more blended, so we will uh, give it a little torch action and see what happens. Give it just a little bit of heat. Ooh, look at that popping. What? That's crazy awesome. Look, I'm not even, like, close at all. I'm kind of, I don't know, 10 inches away. I like some of that integrity of some of this, like, green vein. I don't want to disrupt that totally. Like, I kind of like this, not having all those cells. Although, look, some are going to pop up. Let me just do a little bit on the sides. I need to paint that side over there. All right, I'm loving this green. And this color. All right, I think I'm gonna leave it just like that. And All right. So there's a bunch of those cells that all popped up. This little corner down here is amazing. And it's hard to see, but there are little hints of that metallic throughout a bunch of those cells. Up here, you can see those spots on the left that have the metallic and some of the along the top. If you look really closely, all of those little tan things, tan veins, are all uh, metallic. Little veins. Awesome! Well, I never did have guacamole today, but I am pretty excited about how it turned out. I didn't get any crazing, and for the most part, it stayed where it was supposed to. Now you can see the accents of the gold, which is kind of cool too. And that green sure came through around all those cells. So, awesome. Try out that Target paint, see how it goes. Thanks for watching, enjoy.